guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have another wig for you guys um i believe this wig is uh a kim kardashian bob it's from wow african um i will have all of the info uh in the description bar below um don't really mind my hair right now i just took my braids out and i washed it and i've been running errands around like this but i'm still going to try this on for you guys um so let me get all of the details for you guys on this wig. It is the Kim Kardashian Bob. Oh, they gave me flexi rods. So it came with these cute little flexi rods, which I will definitely use. Um, and here it is. So this is what it looks like fresh out of the box. Um, it's not a full lace, it's just a lace front. It has a middle part, which is kind of thin. I uh, might actually have to pluck this one. Um, but it has the standard three combs, two on the side and one in the middle, and the jawstrings in the back. Uh, so this is, it's the Kim Bob Brazilian Virgin Lace Wig. Um, I have a coupon code for you guys. It is my name, B-R-Y-A-N-A. Um, and it is Brazilian virgin hair. This is the natural color. So it's like a 1B maybe. Uh, it is the Cat 7 glueless lace front. And the lace is light brown. The hair can be dyed. So this is what it looks like. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, I guess take my hair down now and try it on. I don't usually use um, wig caps, but I'm going to use one today because I don't have my braids. Uh, let's get my mirror. So I always leave my edges out in the front. I don't really have anything in my hair right now except for leave-in conditioner. I think I'm going to be able to straighten the front. It's like open at the top, but I just really need it to hold down my bun. Let's go ahead and straighten my edges really quick. So what I normally do is I hook them on the, sometimes I hook them together, sometimes I hook them on the like closest one to each other, but I'll hook them together like so, and then so this is what it looks like with the lace. Um, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I cut the lace off, and this is what it looks like on. It's actually really pretty, um, but the parting is really small. Like, I'm definitely gonna have to pluck that. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I wanted this wig was because um, I've been cutting my hair for about four years now. Uh, four years ago was about the first time I actually like really, really did a big chop, and it wasn't 
to, um, like I've never got a perm or texturizer like that, so it wasn't to go natural because I've been natural. It's just I was tired of my hair and I wanted to cut it, so I cut it to about underneath my chin and then I would let it grow out for a few months and then I would cut it again and I'll let it grow out and I'll cut it again. And um, this time I told myself that, uh, that I wasn't gonna cut it this year. So I said, no, I'm not gonna cut my hair. I'm gonna try to grow it out. And I, probably about a month ago, I had just told my best friend, it's stuck on my hair. I had just told my best friend that I wanted to cut it again. And um, she's like, oh, but you said you weren't gonna cut it. And I was like, yeah, but I kinda, I kinda miss it. You know, my hair is at that like awkward length right now. And I wanted to cut it again. And then I came across this wig and I was like, yes, I want this wig. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna go try to pluck the part and then come back and show you guys what it looks like fixed. Okay guys, so I'm back and I fixed, uh, right when I start talking, and I fixed the parting. I did kind of pluck a lot because the parting was barely there and I put a, um, a nude cap under here because that other cap, let me show you, it was like, it was weird and my ponytail kept, kept coming through here. I don't even know where I got that from, um, but, I like it a lot like I think when I straighten it and stuff it'd be really pretty but even like this like it's so pretty and it's so soft like and it like matches my edges and stuff like if I do it like that like it's really really pretty and now I don't have to cut my real hair I can continue my what's going on I can continue my hair growth journey um and now I can go from short to long and long this short whenever I want to. Um, but again, this is the Kim Kardashian Bob. I'll have all of the details down below. Um, also, I'll have the video down below on how to uh, fix your part to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, like I said, I never really pluck my parts. Like I plucked, like my first wig I plucked. Um, I don't usually have to, but I had to do this one because the party was really, really thin. Um, but I like it. I like it a lot and I'm going to wear it today and it's nice and full. I think the density is 130. I know you guys always ask me what the density is on it. I think it's 130 um, but I'm excited. I know I say this about all my wigs but like I really really wanted to cut my hair again and my hair is probably I think it's about right here right now. I haven't straightened it since July so I don't really know how long it is but um now I definitely don't have to, I can just wear this wig. I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like straightened and after I wash it so you guys can see how it's holding up. But as of now, I'm going to leave it big like this and um, yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. I feel like a different person. I know I said that with my blonde wig, but like, I like it a lot. I might cut this up a little higher actually, because um, when it's straight, I think it'll look cute layered. But this is it. I don't know if there's a hump back there because of my ponytail underneath, but this is it. And I'm happy, I'm excited about this wig as I always am, I know. But yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and I forgot to mention that it's a side part. Like, so when I was doing the plucking, I was like, oh my gosh, the, the parting is so small. It was like this like this much part, I was like, that's so small. It usually goes back a little further because you know when I first tried it on, um, I had it in the middle and then I was like, when I was, when I flipped it inside out to put uh, my concealer on the inside of the part, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the side. So that's why the part is so small. So it, it goes back a little further if I had a middle part, but um, this is a side part and this is how it is on the picture. So that was my fault. But I think I told you guys everything. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!